I want to start with a sincere thank you. I know how hard it is based on conversations I've had with many different people in the industry about doing an animated show like this. And every episode of this show, I I was going to uh, swear, I really enjoy your show. And I want to thank you so much for the hard work that it takes to pull this thing off. So for, for people that don't understand how something like this is made. What do you think fans of, of Solar Opposites might be surprised to learn about the actual making of the show? You know, I know one thing that might surprise people <laughs> is that our actors are never in the same room together. They, they are performing individually and they are being mixed together, but it sounds so natural and so conversational. And we were actually doing records like that before the pandemic started. And it's what allowed us, right when we went into the pandemic, to move records to over Zoom uh, to continue making the show and and just to continue making it sound the same way it was before. Yeah. I would only add that we're, you know, it takes so long. It takes a year to make a show. So we're already very deep into season four at this point. Yeah, that's uh, another one. Yeah, like we're, you know. yeah, that's an interesting one that people, and, and then also we write the show from a, a bunker that's mm-hmm. in Texas. Very, like, I think it's like an old uh, uh, nuke silo. Yeah, yeah, it's like really deep so in the we, ground. Yeah, we're not allowed we're to take. Doomsday preppers and it's got and a lot of sound. asbestos in it, but that actually but it's fine. It, comes it, with it, the good I think ideas. it makes us, yeah. It makes us ideas. more creative. Good, yeah, I was going to say the ideas yeah. probably stem from that, actually. Yeah. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, it might be affected. We do all have one giant gummy bear we eat. We roll it up and smoke the asbestos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't do it at home, though, because it's not. Uh, it's only for us. No, it's don't very only high do it in the bunker. We're bunkers. okay asbestos. with dying It's not soon. like your average asbestos. It's high grade. Like yeah, it's, it's a high, it's it's high quality. It's Hollywood asbestos. It's high quality. Yeah, it's like Hollywood. Texas. Like, we get it from like a really nice like <laughs> asbestos <laughs> head shop in Westwood. <laughs> yeah. I see the way it is in the writer's room. Um, <laughs> you can actually say here, since no one's recording, that the reason everyone records separately is that the cast hates each other. No, no. We actually really, truly, sincerely love each other. And, t- and today is a great, like, fun uh, day where we all get to just be together because of COVID. We like I record at my house, you know, like just, which is maybe another thing people. What's don't the realize. address? Uh, I live at blah blah blah, blah, blah te- in Texas, <laughs> in Texas in a silo, um, uh, underground. But uh, no, but like yeah, it's 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 just we're also fucking busy. Oh sorry, we're also we're also ding darn busy. Ding darn, is that going to be the new? Yeah, we're ding darn. Uh, yeah. We're ding darn busy here. Can you make ding darn sound like really offensive? Like we're all. I'm not going to try it. Anyways. Um, yeah, and then uh, so being able to hang out with everybody has just so been so fun. Like, at, and we haven't had Comic Con for years now, so it's like, yeah, it's, it, it, we love each other is the very short answer, and that's the truth. Yeah. So, uh, and we're so lucky to have the the group we have. It's a very the the um, and, and as Mike said, we all record separately, but when it gets cut together, there's a chemistry that we have clicked on that is just so magical, and it's and it's like. We rolled a 20, you know, if you're a D&D guy, like, holy shit, with our cast. It's insane. Also, the, the entire cast, everyone's voice is so perfect for the character. Like, uh, and you can, a- anyway, um, you guys have a Halloween special coming out later this year. Ooh, too spooky. Don't get too spooky, spooky. for us. Spooky. Oh, yeah. very, very does spooky. not like Halloween. Is, is yeah, yeah. Big, Corvo uh, is very that's spook- kind of, The afraid. kind of the plot is Corvo is incredibly scared of everything to do with halloween including candy corn and like the little plastic spider rings too spooky too spooky too much yeah the 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 previous halloween's the previous special i believe was like a normal episode have you or well, it, was, I, it was christmas no, it, was it was a, a christmas, christmas special we put it yeah, out yeah, yeah. yeah but you mean it was no, around no, the same okay, length, like the right? runtime yeah oh oh yeah 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 this yeah. one is the same runtime this one's as well. 12 hours long no 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 yeah it's just i'm just wondering if you guys have thought Hold about on, that's my they're they're coming they're coming to get me yeah, this is, to, i ordered some postmates by elevator so they're just going to they're going to land no no i was going to say elevator i meant helicopter jesus security coming in to make sure you don't say too much i actually have a funny story of why they're that length i want to hear it so we originally got picked up for two seasons of eight episodes, and we're making second season, and we write the eight episodes, and I'm looking around the writer's room, and I'm like, I feel like we got one more. <laughs> I feel like we can do another one. So I got Hulu on the horn, you know, just like... President Hulu. 38338 yeah. Hulu Good man. or whatever. Good man. Wonderful man. And I was John like, Hulu. Hulu is so supportive of us. I was like, hey, we have a couple more weeks with the writers. We've written all the episodes. What if I told you we could whip together a Christmas special really, really fast? Can we just have the budget for that? And Hulu was like, hell yeah, <laughs> you know, and just I've never been on a show where somebody's just like, yeah, increase your order by one because you asked, you know. And so that's where the first Christmas special came from. And then when we did the next season, they were like, we're going to give you 12 episodes. And we want one of them to be a special, you know, so we're just going to continue moving forward. We're writing one for season four as well. So we're always going to do 11 and then a special. And then every time we're going to do our solar weird 
jokey version of what a TV special should feel like. But I think you were gonna you were gonna ask do, if we're, we would ever do a movie or something. Well, not even a movie, but like Longer. one of the things about streaming is that you, you really don't have a finite like you don't have to hit a certain runtime. But something I've been saying a lot, but not necessarily with these folks, but like yeah. But like, budgetarily, I, we do every second of animation on screen. Yeah, that is costs true. money, it and is, so yeah. we get to a point where. If we have a longer episode, it means we have to have a shorter episode or something that has more reuse. Yeah, so, it, like, we're never fighting the streaming world. We're really just fighting trying to get the show done with the amount of money we have for it. Yeah. It's, also, it's, oh, 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 no, I mean, I, everyone knows the, the good, good, fast, cheap, you know, pick two kind of thing. It's it, it, Yeah. So, anyway, blah, blah. Go ahead. Where, no, where, I was just going to say that at the beginning, we were like, we can make them as long as we want because we're on streaming. But I think with comedy, especially with animation, we just kept editing them down, and they always ended up being about twenty-two or twenty-three. Yeah, minutes. You want like, it to, do you want it to just, you don't especially wanna, you our wanna, show. You want to stay ahead of the audience, and you want it to just move. You but know? the wall like, stuff can be longer, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, that stuff we could, yeah. Yeah, some I think as comedy writers we get really excited about the wall because it's like oh we get to be fancy drama writers yeah. now and like what theme should we do this time? But like with the comedy stuff, it, if you could tell, like, everybody gets talked so quickly because it's either like. Mm. Um, cut the jokes or have people talk quickly. And we're like, talk faster. <laughs> we don't want to cut any of this stuff. That's what the cast said. They said our notes in the room are uh, louder and faster. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Louder is always hard for me with Corvo because it's like I'm going into like this. I got like talk very deep and and then when I have to scream like that, it just shreds my vocal cords. And then I have to I have to have at least three days of like vocal rest before I can do Morty again. Wait, Justin, I see my a Morty lot of voice people. Is like, let me try to do Morty right now. Do I it. Do it. Okay. Rick, oh, come here, Rick. Wait, you'll hear how rough it is. Hey, Rick, can I ask you a question? I've got. Some... You hear how bad that is? Yeah, it's like it's Vegas morning. It's, yeah, like it's, it's gone. It's gone. It's, it's Vegas. It's Vegas. It's Vegas. A weekend of it in Vegas. Wait, wait, wait. Corvo to Morty is so. And, and Corvo's like, I could do Corvo fine. It's like Terry, I need to ask you a question. We, our ship is broken, and you're and you're pissing on the floor in the kitchen, and they, you know, whatever he says. But and then Rick, I could do any time. But like, I could do. But the problem is. I do get it. I get. I get to a point when Corvo's screaming a lot, where I, yeah. it's just gone. I'm like, I, I can't. I can't anymore. It's gone. Like, because it will start to sound weird if I'm screaming as Corvo at a certain point. My but, my vocal cords. But just people go. online say that Corvo and Rick sound the same to them, and I, I'm like, I don't, I don't yeah, see it. Like, I, but, wait, but, give us a Corvo and give us a Rick. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, this is Corvo. Uh, I'm very upset. My teammates are failing our mission. We are trying to leave Earth, uh, and then. Uh, Morty, come here. Morty, let, let, let me, uh, Morty, let, let me just ruffle your hair a little bit. Just, just, just turn around. Don't look at me. Don't look me in the eye. Turn around. And all, again, my voice is fucked. So you really channel a beautiful man when you uh, do Rick. Yeah, yeah. Just Morty, turn around and let me just. I'm not gonna hurt you. Just let me ruffle your hair. Oh, jeez. No, Rick, why, why? It doesn't make any sense. Why, why do you want to ruffle my hair? No, Morty, look, I'm not. You gotta trust me here. I just want to ruffle your hair. It's nothing weird. <laughs> I know it's it's I know you I I know it's probably you know whatever and I like and then so but like my Morty the only one of those three right now that's just completely out the window is Morty and I'm gonna have to come out of Comic Con and just like literally and I have a record on Monday never gonna happen. it's I know I'm kind of in a I'm I'm in a it's in and my video game and it's just like I, I I'm I'm one of the main voices in the video game and I've still got two like eight hour record days for that and that's kind of a closer to Morty voice and I was gonna say insane. to you a these are all first world problems. A hundred percent. I am These not, are I'm not, champagne I mean, no, problems. I, I am not complaining right, no, in a way. But yeah, hundred percent. I will agree. say, like, I'm so grateful and like, yeah. No BS. Like, I, I, um, I lose my voice at Comic Con every time, and I have to do things each day. And by Saturday, I'm usually fucked. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, and yeah, it's, yeah. it's gravelly. But, yeah. But I, I and that's even if you're that's even if you're not going out and drinking and partying. That's like just working. Do we don't do it all? Not at all. No, I'm going to say God, that. No. I was going to say though, if you had a party last night at a hotel rooftop. Um, it's not like it's loud and you're screaming at people, you know? Um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I, listen, I love the wall like every fan of this show. And I'm just so curious, do you envision the wall storyline? Is it something that is continuing into season four? Is it something that's going to be with us for the length of the show? Have you thought about that? Um, we, when we first developed the show, we were like, you know, the first season can be the wall storyline. The second season will be a new sci-fi thing. Third season like that as well. And then we finished first season, we were like, wait, we love The Wall. This story isn't over. And then we loved making it second season. Obviously, we loved making it third season. Third season, it changes speed a little bit at the end of it with the rise of that kind of ah, dude, nefarious the theocracy. Oh, it, it just get, it's, I, I mean, yeah, keep going, sorry. So, so good. fourth like season, so I can tell you, it's Sherry dealing with the rise of the theocracy in The Wall, and it's got the new tone of it. If first season was kind of like a 
War of the Roses, Escape from New York, kind of like, you know, Game of Thrones. And second season was like a murder mystery, trapped in the backyard. Uh, a third season was uh, was like, yeah, like monsters Monster, in the bottom yeah. of the wall. And then like kind of tying up some loose ends with Tim and, and getting to the next phase. Um, yep. Back into, yep. And then this next season is kind of a Tinker Tailor Soldier spy, like Cold War, Cold War spy thriller in the wall it's such with cool, the theocracy. It's such a cool little microcosm of humanity yes. that's so far removed from today's like insanity in politics. But we can play with the human condition. And I don't know. I, just, I Yeah, I like I'm so I'm so in love with what has been done in the wall. It's it's. it's anyway, it's, it's also all of the most fun tropes from movies and books and comics that we love like distilled into this thing that is insane that it exists in a comedy. Yeah. It's almost like, so. remember we originally talked about it being like, if Itchy and Scratchy was taking over The Simpsons, yeah, and yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. or one of the McBain movies, if you had an entire McBain yeah, movie, yeah, 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 like yeah. in a season of The Simpsons, that's kind of yeah. what The Wall is. Yeah. But I would just say Silver Cops, which we introduced in season three, is also will also continue. Mike walked in and was like, I have this idea for Silver Cops and I have four seasons all, already ready to <laughs> it's, go. Silver Cops so. is so... That, that's sort of why I keep I've said a couple times like I feel like season three is amazing but once you get right into the middle of it from the middle all the way to the end it just the show is elevated to a level that I feel like we've never hit and and that's that's saying something because I think the show's amazing and I, I'm biased obviously well, but like also we have 99 ships and, 99 no no and that's right that's right around where I think it starts to really well even before that but like that's where it just like it, you start to really start to see that there's there's more going on with these Schlorpians. There's more, there's there there's can, there's like some canonical like serialized shit to learn about these ridiculously episodic characters, and and then yeah, Mike Silvercop thing is just like whole, oh my god, well, it's so also, good. Danielle it's so can good. Speak, like the end of the season also ends on a cliffhanger for the Solars as well. Right. Yep. Where I don't think we're allowed to spoil it, but it's something like completely. Uh, off out of their comfort zone that happens that they realize they have to do for the family. Um, but I was going to say with Silver Cops, like one of the fun things that happened is like, remember when we were starting the write the wall and we just got really excited about it. Mike walked in and he's like, what if we do that again with like another storyline? We're like, a hundred percent. Yeah. It's like, let's do a million of those. But um, there's some really cool stuff coming with Silver Cops. One of the things in season three, early in the season, you have an episode that ties into the next one and there's a joke that continues, yeah. Um, which I, I found very funny. Um, is is that like a one-off? Do you envision anything where it's going to be continued? You know, it, it, for Solar, it's always like, everybody making it is a huge fan of TV, and we've all written TV, and the first thing we got to do we've never done before is binge drop, right? So it changed how we made the show. That's where the original wall stuff was able to come in, and then as he's each season- He's talking about the line thing, right? He's talking about yeah. the line, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. And then it was like, every season we're like, well, since we have no rules, let's break all the old rules. So like- Standing in line for a whole episode was a bit of our like our Seinfeld waiting to get into the restaurant yeah, episode, the, yeah, you know, but restaurant. then crossing the two episodes is like a very solar opposites weird thing to do. Like we can get away with that. So, yeah, we're always going to be pushing. We have fun stuff in season four, too. That's just like, how can we play with the format? And I think I think in the room too, the more like somebody laughs on something that it's like it feels like we're in trouble almost, and we're like we're not supposed to do that with TV. And then if like everybody starts laughing on it, like let's just fucking do it. Let's no, put it the, in. The, that is let's the best fucking way to make a show. Because I've been on so many shows where everyone's crying, laughing, and then it's like no, but seriously, but seriously, right, but right. seriously, let's no, 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 work. but seriously, let's really. Yeah. And it's like no, yeah. fuck that. Uh, and I just want to say like I I'm so grateful to have these guys like on the show like i i sincerely it's like mm -hmm. I, I i know it sounds like syrupy and sappy but like i i really i like am it so fucking grateful and lucky and just like i'm like how the fuck is this real and what is anything you know it's just incredible like i it, like yeah it's just fucking amazing one of the things i commend you guys on and i think it's one of the reasons why i love the show and why a lot of fans love the show is that every episode anything can happen like literally yeah so like you could be five minutes in and all of a sudden it's taking a turn i did not see coming staying ahead of the audience yeah, like, yeah we, we try to like weaponize that word josh tell them how annoying i am about that <laughs> no no I, I can well, feel Josh getting ready no, to be like, there's I mean, a reason for that. No, it is, one. Of, as Mike says, one of his, he knows we're in the, we're in a, uh, going down the right direction when he'll pitch something, and now we're in Zoom, so I'll move my chair back and be like, I'm, and I'm you a, cross your arms. I'm about to say, we can't do that, and I'm like, yeah, we got to do that. And I think we do try with, with each season, especially one episode like uh, the the Wooden City in the second second season, and this season we have that episode where 
it starts as something and then one of them's on a daylight Sylvester Stallone thing. And, and it just, we always try to do, at least with a couple episodes, really at some point turn it in a way that people would never expect. Every and five I, minutes it changes, right? Yes. It's like, it's almost like seasons or something. Like you can't predict what's going to happen one one act later in Solar Opposites, but that's like, it is so, like, we want, we never want the audience to feel like they know what's coming. Yeah. Because it's also, you can rewatch it a hundred times and you're like, oh, wait, this is the episode where that's it ends up here? Ones. Like, yeah. it's just so fun. Dude, I, I, yeah, I, I, it's the same thing on, on Rick and Morty for the most part, where it's like, I'll forget what episode a thing is in. I'm like, wait, what episode is the thing where we did the, like, for an example, like a butter robot joke. I'm like, yeah. what the fuck episode was the butter robot thing in? And I'm just the like, devil episode. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, I, 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 and so, and that was the Pluto, one, but it's like, I literally, anyway, that's a whole other show, but yeah. Yeah, that was the Pluto episode. I, mean, yeah. I was going to say one thing that like most people might not know when in the writing process is like, we, we have such a, a magic dance between like the writers, the cast, the editors, the animators, like yeah. every level adds something to the show. So it's like, we, we start with an idea and then we pass it off to the cast and then we pass it off to the animators and like the storyboard artist, the, the storyboard supervising artist, director, and it's like, the, yeah. We're and basically asking, I mean, we're asking our, our animators and our storyboard artists sometimes to do three shows, right? So we have so the solar, mm -hmm. then we have the wall, that's totally different, and now we've asked them to do I silver think, cost. I think yeah, we have the best really color is, team really, in the business. Uh, like, yeah, yeah, color Like when the really wall incredible. first was coming in, the color team on that made it its own world in a way I'd never seen, yeah. and it, it fueled us to be like, we need to spend more time in that it world. Back. Exactly right. Yeah. And it's like everybody adds their own. Every, the story just changes and elevates every way. And then the, we will we'll find that like affecting the writing, too, with the color or like we'll get cast members and that will just blow us away with how they interpreted a character. And we're like, well, now we got to bring that storyline back. It's amazing. Like season one, like really figuring out the wall. It was like um, it was weirdly easy and challenging in a good was, way. Yeah. Yeah. And we, we had big meetings where it was like, uh, you know, Mendel you know, RIP, love the man. Uh, he was there and we would just sit and talk about the wall. I feel, felt like the wall was like, the, the solars were just easy. It was like Something easy. that's a never other show I've like, had to deal with, maps and maps of the wall. Yeah, Keeping yeah, 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 track yeah, yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bird's eye view. Like, yeah, what, we'll turn uh, what, in a script and yes. the artist will go, you can't do that. No, I had we're to. like, why? It's like, because that part of the wall doesn't connect to that yeah, part. And, and I like, had damn to, it, they're to, right. On season one, we had to literally build like, like Tolkien. a map of where the different thing. I mean, and obviously it was like, a little hand wavy, but it was enough where it was like, okay, we this is good enough to get away with for season one. The only show but I've encountered that on is Star Trek because they're like, well, that's not where the neutral zone is, and I'm like, crap, shit, yeah, you're right. And then it's like weirdly the wall, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I love that though. In, in season four, without mm -hmm. is where everything is in the wall becomes a, a huge storyline in our wall. There's story. been a cut even in three. I think that there's some stuff in three when, when you find out. Well, right. I don't want to. Yeah, you find out what's really going on with these murders and right, right. I had it's a, location related and it's like I had a disease really thought the other day that I didn't even tell you guys yet where I was like what if the people in the wall start making a little story in their wall <laughs> so that there's like a show in a show oh my god that's and I was such a like good idea. should I do... say that out loud yes. to them because I know yeah. they're gonna be into it I, yes. I, I, I think this that's is the show so you say fun. everything what, what, out loud what if somehow I mean who care hand wave it away somehow they get yeah. some camera equipment and like the ability to like that's, yeah, dude and, then, like, and yeah. now there's a sitcom in the well, dude like okay, a wait, 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 wait 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 okay. That's season five. Oh, we right. have, hey, yeah. see, can see can, after we get well, after things settle down, can we do a season where it's just like a total like network? Uh, it's oh, like a straight. It's, it's literally like it's what, like what, what's the, the Apple rules? show, the morning show, like like not like dealing oh, with oh, like you mean like a news show? Well, no, it's yeah, literally we create our own network. Yeah, it's 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 literally oh, yeah. like a drama built around like you know. Well, you know what, you know the, what I would love to do that into? It's all in the wall. I would love to do what <laughs> is so the good. what is the ABC of the Wooden City? Yeah, oh, and you like yeah. build out an entire world. Oh my god, I want to see. Anyway, listen, this is sorry everybody. Just forget you heard all that. Yeah, because like honestly, this might. I feel I feel like we're literally probably this is not a good idea to be maybe cut some. That right. <laughs> I, I, I can I can also edit out stuff. I, I, no, I mean, don't just leave it in. Ah, who fuck knows? It, who cares? Yeah. Hey, we we may collider. or may not. Whatever. I, I, I was also going to say, and I got to wrap. But I, the other thing is, you can put on a talk show in the wall. There's yeah. you could start filming movies I am in the wall. Really yeah. excited about UHF. Uh, Weird Al's movie, but yeah. you know maybe a little more dramatic because it's the wall in the wall. Like should, that is. They should make the wall, a the wall. yeah, like where, where they're like casting. There's, but it, we it, love it's, it's, world it's, building, it's, right? It's, um, it's, there's, uh, there's also something to think about real quick, and then I'll go is bring, bringing movie, in the um, um, uh, the main cast into the wall somehow, interacting in a movie in the wall. There's so many. I'm just waiting for Guffman. It's a little weird when, for Guffman. But like, like we, you know, we get, one day the Solars will encounter the people in the wall truly because they do a little bit. But like. 
Hulu needs to buy a two-hour epic movie from us. <laughs> yeah. to I swear to God. The like, story must be told. We would, we would love could, a movie. This show, this show <laughs> would be able to slam dunk a fucking movie. Hardcore slam dunk. You heard it right here first. Uh, the Pupa yeah. does film things in the wall. The Pupa puts yeah, 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 his yeah, camera. Yeah, oh, the true, Pupa presents a Pupa. Well, hey, by the way, fuck hand waving. The Pupa's the one that dropped the truth down and dropped This is what must happen in the writer's room. We're witnessing it firsthand during this interview. Okay, listen. We have to wrap, but even though I could talk to you for another hour, I'm just going to say for every Everyone watching, watch Solar Opposites. It's on Hulu. It does at least good enough to get a season four. They don't tell me anything about the numbers. They don't tell us either. But we only knew from season one, and and then we kind of did. Me and Mike did a little bit of you know our own reconnaissance mission. A lot of people are watching the show. It's a lot of people watching the show. We well, love everybody who's watching lot, the show. So if there's people who aren't watching the show, please watch it. It's tell it's, them to watch it's the show. Great. If you're a fan of Rick and Morty, you will love this show. I really think. I mean, I would say eighty percent of Rick and Morty fans it's, will love this show. It's the simple. Friendly husband alien uh, uh, story in the wall. That's a bad pitch. Version Ignore that. Of it's Rick and Morty. <laughs> yeah, no. Where, where Tiffany Haddish plays an AI. Oh, we never oh, talked about Tiffany. Dude, Haddish. Uh, yeah, Tiffany Haddish is so fucking so good. good. Okay. Oh, anyway, so good. We love you, uh, Tiffany. There's a lot of people we want to say we love that are. I was just going to say, enjoy Comic Con. Thank, Thank you so you. much for stopping by. If there's anything we can do on Collider to help you guys out, please let me know. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Appreciate it. 